happy Thursday. This topic kept coming into my mind while I was riding this morning, so I figured I would do a quick little talk about it because, you know, sometimes it's a little bit confusing to me. Nah, yeah, well, it is. Because the topic of leadership is, you know, it, it's a complex topic. It has a lot of moving parts. It has a, you have a lot of things going on there, especially with the brain, behavior, people. I mean, just, you know, it's a lot, but I'm not going to cover the entire uh, umbrella. I'm just gonna cover a little section of what I was thinking about this morning, which was, why do people that don't have leadership skills end up in leadership positions? And then, is this all the time? No, but why is it that it's common for people, you know, management, leadership positions, why is it common for people to get these positions and maintain them even though they're not fit? That's a question that's really been on my mind, you know, for several years now that I just can't understand. Maybe it's conformity, maybe it's, you know, people don't really understand what they're, man, fix your, uh, man. These people with these motorcycles with the loud uh, exhaust bother me. But, so, we're always one of those up. Maybe it's that the people that are underneath them are so intertwined in conformity and fakeness that people get, you know, that these certain kinds of people get lucky when they end up in these positions because nobody that's under them, it has any kind of like real leadership requirements. They don't even necessarily know themselves. So they don't require anything from anybody or demand anything from anyone that's leading them. And that's basically what I wanted to talk about. I didn't want to talk about the leadership role but I wanted to talk about the follower role. And this is what I realized over the last several years. I don't want anyone leading me that is not better than me. That's just the way that it is. Um, I don't want, I don't want to be led. Can I take advice from peers? Absolutely. I'm a coachable, teachable person but I'm gonna scrutinize and scan that advice and check with it with other people that I feel like have great minds that are in my, you know, surrounding circle. It, you know, but if it's a leader, if it's someone that I respect and I honor, I'm not even gonna cross reference that stuff. I'm just gonna say, that's, that, that, that's a great piece of advice. I'm taking that, I'm running with it, and I appreciate you for taking the time out to give me this wisdom but this is the but the like i said the problem is is that people don't even know themselves these days people don't even necessarily know what they want they just grab onto these things you know a lot of people grab onto things because they have like these voids in their life especially when it comes to like hobbies or like your job you know you were told you were good at this when you were a kid you were told by your parents that you should have this job. That may not be who you really are. So now you're on a job that you don't necessarily like and you are dealing with people that you don't like to make an income and you're sitting there smiling in their face every day and being led by someone that's a complete psychopath. Been there, done that. And that ain't what life is all about. You know, that's the reason why I make these videos is because 99, heck, damn near 100% of them are, you know, situations that I've been through, stuff that I've lived, mistakes that I've made. I'm not, I've, I never said because I was making these videos that I'm perfect. I make these videos for my kid so he doesn't make the same mistakes that I make. Maybe there's some little, uh, or made in the past, maybe there's some little nugget or something that will trigger his mind to say, hey, you know, I'm not gonna do that. But you know, I don't wanna keep it too long because it's already creeping up on uh, four, four minutes and 47 seconds, so I kinda wanna keep these under five minutes because I know people got things to do. But this is the deal. 
Know yourself before you take a job. You know, go out and take, what is it, the Myers-Briggs. Go out and take those, like, those tests. Learn about yourself. Take, you know, a test. Take a, um, what do they say, uh, or a personality test. Myers-Briggs is the one that I know. But look up personality tests online. You can take them. They're great. They're awesome. I took a bunch before I went to college. And they were right. They pointed me in the right direction. I had some other ideas, but naturally, I took three different um, personality tests and three different, uh, or in five different learning style tests. They were all right. They were all right. So take the tests, learn about yourself, invest some time in yourself, and then ask yourself based off of this stuff. Are these people that I have that are above me or these people I look up to, are they fit to lead me? Am I supposed to be under this person? Am I supposed to take life advice from this person? Happy Thursday.